Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about one of the most important athletic activities you can do, the heavy club single arm shield cast. There are certain movements that define the human species, and there are certain movements that absolutely everybody should train, no matter what their sport, no matter what their age. The single arm shield cast is one of those movements. This movement pops up in tons of sports. It pops up in all martial arts. It pops up over and over and over again throughout history because swinging levers in offensive and defensive patterns all use the same core movements. The movement we're talking about today is called a shield cast because we will be practicing the basic movement of shielding our body. With a heavy club, the movement is slightly different than it is with something like an actual defensive or an offensive weapon, but the movement chain is the same. When we are training sports performance, oftentimes we replicate the movement chain, but we do not replicate the exact movement. When we learn the single arm shield cast, we always start with the two-handed shield cast first because it helps people learn how to line up their shoulder and the spine together. Let's review the two-handed shield cast first. Come up to our order position elbow on the body. That is important. The heavier the club gets, the more important this becomes. Order position is the equivalent of rack position in barbell or in kettlebell or in dumbbell. Elbow on body, hand closest to the tip of the club will move past its opposite ear. Of course, we need to do an equal number of reps with both hands high. When you change your high hand, the ear changes. But the coaching cue is still top hand past opposite ear. The opening movement confuses people. In the beginning, people try to move their shoulder with the club to start the movement. That seems like it should work, but it's incorrect. The opposite shoulder will move towards the hand. The coaching cues for this are usually done with four words, rotate, push, pull, catch. Rotate the shoulder towards the club, push the club behind the head, pull it over and catch in order position. Rotate, push, pull, catch. When we get the movement good with two hands on the club and we go up through at least three weights, we go back to a light weight and we start to take the bottom hand away. The first step that we do when we do that is we go to sword fingers, two fingers on, touching the bottom of the club. That convinces us to still rotate the same way. Our hands are still touching the club, but we are not supporting with the bottom hand. Eventually, we take that bottom hand away, but the coaching cues are the same. Rotate, push, pull, catch. Rotate, push, pull, catch. Rotate, push, pull, catch. Rotate, push, pull, and catch. The important part is that you start and stop with the elbow in the correct position. Elbow is on the body. Elbow is on the body. Arm is at 90 degree angle. When you change hands, the coaching cues are still the same. Rotate, push, pull, catch. Rotate, push, pull, catch. Rotate, push, pull, and catch. The shield cast shows up over and over and over again in defensive and offensive martial arts, and it is one of the core movement patterns that build into throwing patterns later on. The defensive movement, the offensive movement, and the throwing pattern all have the same root movement chain in the body. This exercise takes a long time to train. You treat it as strength training. In the beginning, you practice the two-handed version. You start with time under tension. You go up through several weights, progressing over time. When you've gone up through at least three weights and done a logical two-handed program for one to two years, then oftentimes people will jump to this single arm program. The single arm program and the two-hand club program are not the same. 
Two-handed club program is a time under tension program. That means you perform reps for say 30 seconds. You count your reps and you try to get faster in the same amount of time to increase your work capacity. When you go to single arm, it is no longer time under tension. It becomes strength training, three to five reps, then change hands. Five reps, one, two, three, four, five, change hands, go top hand past opposite ear, one, two, three, four, five. Then you add sets. You would start with say five sets of five, exactly like strength training, then you would add sets to it. But you would not change the number of reps per set because that would be a change in intensity. That never works out well, no matter how strong people think that they are. It is strength training and it is a volume cycle, which means you add sets over time and you build up to say 10 sets of five or 20 sets of five because you need to get more experience with lining your body up. This is not just a strength exercise, it is a biomechanical alignment exercise. The side effect of training this is that on accident, people are doing shoulder therapy. If you have ever injured your shoulder and you've gone to therapy, they put you through a specific series of exercises to work on your rotator cuff. Just by practicing any two-handed club program and moving to a single arm club program, you will end up doing all of the therapy movements with a lever in the real world. This is exactly what the shoulder is designed to do. So you should do it at least twice a week for the rest of your life.